Good afternoon, mga mahal. My fellow gods, beloved. It's a wonderful afternoon. It's actually um, 4.15 and it is nice and uh, cozy here with birds chirping and uh, it's a little bit drizzles. Yeah, it is drizzling and so I can't go around really and I can sit on this grassy green grass because it is drizzling and so I am here in this shady part <laughs> going to read my love letter here <laughs> God's love letter to me and to you yes see <laughs> it's nice to read God's word here it's a busy road there look it's highway and uh, yeah <laughs> let's walk around first and look at the birds the uncle is feeding birds there see yeah. birds are eating Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for this lovely afternoon. Oh, I praise you, Lord, and I glorify you, oh God. You're worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. This is so good. So wonderful, Lord. It's so good. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you for these lovely creatures. They're eating. So nice. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandpa in our village. Look at the uncle, see? He's feeding the birds, eating. Look. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Hallelujah. It's a busy road there. Busy road. And uh, at the same time, the birds and chicken are busy eating here. Uh, thank you, Lord. Oh, I praise you, Father, and I glorify you, oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. This is so good. It's so wonderful, Lord. It's so awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. Come, let us walk around the, the park. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. This is what I want to do. Give you praise for you are my righteousness. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. Yes, Lord, there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I should search for all eternity. I should search for all eternity long and find there is none luck like you, Lord. Yes, because you are the only one, Father God, who is so good, so wonderful. There is none like you. Your mercy flows like a river wide. Healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your hands. There is none like you. 
There is none like you. Yes, Father. There is none like you, Lord, indeed. Um, let's walk around and uh, say, Father, Mother. Let's go. Let's sign. Father God, thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. He was the first. Oh, yes. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was the dead, but he came to life. Oh, yes. He was the Alpha and the Omega who live and die. Alive forevermore. Yes, Lord, you are alive forevermore. Hallelujah. He knows our works. Indeed, Lord, you know our works. Let's be in faithful. Oh, yes. He knows our poverty. We should endure. Yes, God, we have to endure. <laughs> he knows our tribulation. We should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master, indeed, Father. No servant is greater than his master. Hallelujah. He who has an ear, let him hear. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcome receive eternal life. Oh yes. And he who is faithful receive the crown of life. Yes, Father God. As we are faithful to you, Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life. The crown of rejoicing. The incorruptible crown. The crown of glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you, Father. And we glorify you, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless all of us, Lord. The people whom we are praying for, our family, relatives and friends, our spiritual family, and especially, Lord, for those who do not know you, Lord Father. We pray that they will have personal relationship with you, Father. Because in this world, nothing really, um, re yes, we do not have to, we do not have to hold on about things in this world everything will perish everything will be gone except the word of god and jesus himself hallelujah oh father god lord and so jesus lord only you whom we truly worship god the god of the universe the owner of heaven and earth it's only one true God. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. The honor of heaven and earth and all the universe and all that is in it. And you own us as well, Lord. Thank you. Father God, we praise you, Lord. We glorify you, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for all your love, for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we receive you, Lord, from our hearts, Lord. We receive you, Father, as our personal Lord and Savior. Come, you may want to pray with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for saving my life, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise you, oh God, because of your great love, Lord. Hallelujah. I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for my sins. I offer my life a pleasant sacrifice to you Lord you offer your life Father yes as a sacrifice Lord for all our 
sins. Forgive us, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my heart, Father. Forgive my sins, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for the forgiveness of my sins, for dying on the cross for me. I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Fellow God's beloved, if you pray the prayer from your heart, the Lord Jesus will come into your heart and the Holy Spirit will guide you and teach you into all things. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I praise you, Lord, and I glorify you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and Amen. Let us continue on reading now God's word in the book of um, we are reading in the book of see <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 50 hallelujah father God as we read your word help us to understand oh Lord give us that spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O oh Father, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name of our opponents, we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Holy Spirit. You are our teacher. Teach us. <laughs> amen. Come. Let's continue on reading now the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50. Hallelujah, Jesus. We will be reading now 50, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 11. Yesterday we read the hope, hope for Israel and Judah, and this time we will be reading Babylon's sure fall. Hallelujah. Babylon's sure fall. You rejoice and are glad. You who plundered my chosen people, you frisk about like a calf in a meadow and knee like a stallion. But your homeland will be overwhelmed with shame and distance. You will become the least of nations, a, wild, a, a wilderness, a dry and desolate land because of the Lord's anger. Babylon will become a des deserted wasteland. All who pass by will be horrified and will grasp and will gasp at the destruction they see there. Yes. Prepare to attack Babylon, all your surrounding nations. Let your archers shoot at her spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Shout words rise against her from every side look she surrenders her walls are falling it is the lord vengeance so take revenge take vengeance on her do to her as she has done to others take other babylon all those who plant crops send all the harvesters away because of the sword of the enemy Everyone will run away and rush back to their own lands. Hope for God's people. The Israelites are like sheep that have been scattered by lions. First the king of Assyria at them up. Then the king, king Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon has cracked their bones. Therefore, this is what the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. Now I will punish the king of Babylon and his land. Just as I punish the king of Azariah, and I, will, I, and I will bring Israel home again of its own land to feed in fields of Carmel and Bashan, and to the satis, 
satisfied once more and to be satisfied once more in the hill country of Ephraim and Gilead in those days says the Lord no sin will be found in Israel or in Judah for I will forgive the remnants I preserve wow God is so awesome he's so true to his promised words the Lord's judgment of Babylon go up my warriors against the land of Mithraim and against the people of Bikot pursue kill and completely destroy them as I have commanded you says the Lord let the battle cry be heard in the land a shout of great destruction Babylon the mightiest hammer in all the earth lies broken and shattered Babylon is desolate among the nations listen Babylon for I have set a trap for you you are caught for you have fought against the Lord the Lord has opened his armory and brought out weapons to vent his fury the terror that falls upon the Babylonians will be the work of the sovereign Lord of heaven's armies yes come against her from distant lands break open the great grave nourish crush her wall and houses into heaps of rubble destroy her completely and leave nothing destroy even her young bowels will be will be terrible from them too slaughter them all for Babylon that the Babylon city of reckoning has come listen to the people who have escaped from the Babylon from Babylon um, as we tell in Jerusalem how the Lord our God has taken vengeance against those who destroyed his temple send out a call for archers to come to Babylon surround the city so none can escape do to her as she has done to others for she has defended the Lord of oh, the Holy One of Israel her young men will fall in the streets and die her soldiers will all be killed says the Lord see I am your enemy the arrogant people say the Lord the Lord of heaven's armies your day is reckoning has arrived the day when I will punish you O land of arrogance you will stumble and fall and no one will raise you up for I will light a fire in the cities of Babylon that will burn up everything around them this is what the Lord of heaven's army says the people of Israel and Judah have been wronged the captors hold them and refuse to let them go but the one who re redeems them is strong his name is the Lord of heaven's armies he will defend them and give them rest again in Israel for but for the people of Babylon there will be no rest this word of destruction will strike the Babylonians says the Lord I will strike the people of Babylon, her officials and, and wise men too. This world will strike her wise counselors and they will become fools. This world will strike her mightiest warriors and panic will resist them. This world will strike her horses and chariots and her allies from the lands and they will all become like women. The sword will strike her treasuries and they will be plundered. The sword will even strike her water supply, causing it to dry up. Why? And why? Because the whole land is filled with idols and the people are madly in love with them. So Babylon will be inhabited by desert animals and hyenas and it will be a home of owls. Never again will people live there. It will die desolate forever. I will destroy it as I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring towns, says the Lord. No one will live there. No one will inhabit it. Look, a great army is coming from the north, a great nation of many kings and rising against you from far off lands. They are armed with bows and spears. They are cruel and shows no mercy as they ride forwards on horses. They sound like a roaring sea and they are coming in battle formation planning to destroy you, Babylon. The king of Babylon has heard reports about the, the enemy and he is weak to fight, fight, to fight fright. Pangs of anguish and grips him like those of woman in labor. I will come like a lion from the thickets of Jordan, leaping on the sheep in the pasture. I will chase Babylon from its land and I will appoint the leader of my choice for who is like me who can challenge me but a ruler can oppose my will indeed lord no one hallelujah no one like you lord yes father god listen to the lord's plans against babylon and the land of the babylonians even the little children will be dragged off like sheep 
and their homes will be destroyed. The earth will shake with a shout. Babylon has been taken and its cry of despair will be heard around the world. Uh, be because the Lord did this because they are not worshipping Him. They are worshipping idols. So this is what happened. They are worshipping because the whole land is filled with idols and the people are madly in love with them. The idols, the, the, the you know, other gods, not, not the true living God. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you Lord for this time and opportunity for me Lord to be able to read God's word. Hallelujah. I praise you Lord and I glorify your Father. Thank you Lord for your love Lord. Help us Lord to worship you, the true living God, the God. The name above all names, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you, Lord, be with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mga Mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye. Take care and God bless. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye. Jesus loves you. Amen. Amen.